The latest round of killing, bloodshed going on in Israel is widespread. I was looking at an interactive map earlier which shows where killings took place. Many young Palestinian men being shot by the Israeli authorities. Most of the victims in this are Palestinian. This latest round of violence. One line that keeps coming up is named person allegedly tries to stab an Israeli police officer or citizen and is shot dead. The mosque in occupied East Jerusalem, Al-Aqsa Mosque, is regarded as one of the holiest sites in Islam. Israel putting restrictions on Palestinian access to the site is seen as one cause of the recent wave of violence, one cause among other things. There are rumours flying around as well and we can't ignore the ongoing Jewish settlement of the West Bank flouting international law. Video footage has emerged of Israeli soldiers surrounding a Palestinian woman maybe at a bus stop, I don't know. She looks to be holding something which is allegedly a knife they shoot her several times. The report I saw said she was critically injured. Her name, Isra Ayad, A Y E D, 29 years old. Another video shows a Palestinian teenager, Fadi Alun, being shot, and apparently he was killed. He was supposedly running away after allegedly trying to stab an Israeli. These videos surfaced earlier in the month. Yeah, and these shootings and alleged stabbings continue. Reports keep coming in. Israelis have been killed and the Palestinian death toll is considerably higher. Bethlehem, the occupied West Bank, a report on Al Jazeera earlier today. The scene is a sad but familiar one to anyone who keeps up with the news from this part of the world. Palestinian teenagers or 20-somethings, mostly men, throwing stones at Israeli soldiers. The soldiers responding with a barrage of tear gas and you can hear the more than occasional sound, the crackle of gunfire aimed at Palestinian protesters. In this report there is one woman, face covered, wearing sunglasses, carrying a Palestinian flag in one hand, holding a stone in the other. She said, this is not life, this is not real life, this is a life only for Israelis. If you are Palestinian you have no right to live, to move, you have no right to travel, you have no hope in this life. I'm sure she would not be alone in her view. Director of Human Rights Association in Nazareth, Mohammed. Zaidan said this This is a hyper militarized culture of incitement and belligerence in Israel We are still viewed by the state and much of the Israeli public as enemy combatants rather than citizens End quote. That view that mentality is surely one which helps to maintain the status quo the us versus them mentality, home team versus the enemy. When you read or see interviews with Palestinian university students, 
men and women who are willing to speak with Western media, you will recognize a common contempt for the State of Israel as an intolerable institution. That's how it's seen, an oppressive entity which wants to grind them down and eventually wipe them out. Anger and no support for the idea of a peace process with Israel seems to be common, which isn't to say all Palestinians want an end to Israel or believe that a bloody uprising is the answer. Now I see the word intifada being used, intifada as in uprising. First Intifada, 1987 to 1993, the second 2000 to 2005 and the last one begun at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The site of the mosque in the old city of Jerusalem is also the site of the Dome of the Rock. The site is known as the Temple Mount or Noble Sanctuary. The Mount is the holiest site in Judaism. Among Sunni Muslims the site is considered the third holiest site in Islam. So its religious and cultural significance cannot be underestimated. The question then is, is this the third intifada in its beginnings? 